And were you to get back quickly? How worried were you initially? I'm straight. Uh, I got like the best um, at getting me ready to play in Armando Anthony Rivas. So we we got to work for the last couple of days. Um, he made sure I was ready tonight, so I'm grateful um, and very happy that we got a dub overall, though. Uh, the way it played out, we've seen a few of these before, up 22, 14 minutes to go, up seven, you know, a little less than that. But the fact is that you held firm when you needed to. How significant before a five-game road trip was it to get a win like this and get back above 500? We need that. We need as many dubs as we can get right about now, um, start to turn this thing around, um, show ourselves and everybody else what we're capable of and how we can win games. And I think it's a good start as we're going to play some really, really, really good teams on the road. So we need that confidence going into these games um, to, to pull out some more dubs. You started on LeBron, but did things, things defensively simplify a bit in the fourth when they went small and you guys were able to just kind of put Bam on LeBron and keep him home there? Yeah, but I, I think they do a good job of of playing fast so you can't match up on that end of the floor. And that's how the game started out because um, he wasn't guarding me, so it's, it's tough to get from one side of the floor to the other. And then we, we finally figured that out before um, they got too big of a lead. And then whenever we realized that was happening, we settled down and made sure that he was guarded um, anywhere he was on the floor. Um, figured that out, made some shots, got some stops. That's the formula to success here. Um, Jimmy, it looked like you were kind of spamming the spin move at some points tonight, specifically in that mid-post area. Um, is that something that you were planning on doing or just the way that the Lakers were guarding you, you, you got to that move? Uh, I mean, I feel like I just take what the defense gives me. I'm actually kind of mad that I shot 0 for 3 from... <gasps> 0 for 4? See, I was a sticker before this game. Now they're going to back off and, and make me shoot more. So I got to get back in the gym. But no, I'm um, attacking the paint. Uh, I think I'm, I'm decently good at that. Uh, spin move, Euro step, whatever the case may be. Um, I, I, I like getting in the paint and getting some layups. Tyler had the big three in the corner against Minnesota. Then the big one, obviously, tonight. Does it just feel like he's got a knack for making those shots? Mm-hmm. Uh, the no matter what the game gives him, no matter if he's making shots or missing shots, um, that's what scores do. Really good scores, at least. They're going to shoot the ball when they're open. They're going to keep shooting, and we want him to do that. We want everybody to do that, honestly. Um, but if he's open, which I don't know why you would leave him anyways, but, you know, you did, and he rose up and knocked down that shot. Um, pretty much sealed the game for us. Jimmy, you had five steals tonight, and you're always asked about the ability to kind of predict and hit the passing lanes, but do you feel like, has that always been a skill of yours? Like, when you think back, even, like, way back, has that always been something you've had, or was it, like, a moment where you feel like it developed? I, I think it's always been a thing, but I, I think that that comes from Richard Hamilton, actually. Rip taught me at a young age, like, because I wasn't that good whenever I came into the league. Like, nobody wanted to pass me the ball, and he always told me, like, if you want to score and you want to get the ball, play good defense and get a steal, go get a layup, or crash the boards and get an offensive rebound. Like, nobody's going to pass it to you, so you got to go get it. And to this day, that that sticks in my head. Like, if I want to be able to go shoot the ball, go get it and get an easy one, get a layup or, or get an offensive rebound. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gone.